2.4 Electronic Configuration The learning objective for these subtopics are Students should be able to apply the alphabet principle to explain the electronic configuration of items. Students should be able to apply Hunt's rule and Pauli exclusion principle to explain how electrons fail in the orbitals in the ground state of an atom. Students should be able to write the electronic configuration of atoms or ions given the photon number. And students should be able to determine the number of valence electrons for elements and their position in the predictable given their electronic configuration. So, the electronic configuration is the distribution of electrons in the orbitals of an atom. So, based on the electronic configuration, we will have the information of what it, where is the shell of the electron, what is the orbital of the electron, and the number of electrons in the orbital. So, number one refers to the principal constant number, N, and S is the, is the L, which is angular momentum quantum number that tells us the shape of the orbital, and the superscript number is the number of electrons in the orbital or subshell. In the orbital diagram, we will show the element of the atom, the, sorry, the symbol of the element, the orbital, and the number of electrons by drawing arrow. Akbao states the electrons occupy orbital in the order of increasing energy levels. The electron must fill orbital starting with 1s as shown by the diagram. Arrows are drawn through the diagonals and looping back to the next diagonal each time. And the order of the Akbao principle is 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, followed by 3d, and then 4p and 5s. So how do you remember the sequence? So you will have to write 1s, 2s, and the following. Okay, and then P, and then D, and F. So S will start with number 1, P will start with number 2, D with number 3, and F start with number 4. And then draw the arrow. First, uh, the lowest energy level is 1s, followed by 2s. And then the arrow will start from here, 2p and 3s. And then continue with 3p and 4s. And continue with 3d, 4p and 5s. And 4d, 5p and 6s. Followed by this row. Okay, next is the energy level. So energies of sublevel increase as n increases. For example, for level 1 is the lowest energy followed by 2 and then 3. And as L increases, for example, you have 2S and 2P, energy level for 2S is lower than 2P. Next is Hans rule. Hans rule is a set of orbitals of the same energy level. The electron occupy the orbital singly with parallel spin before they occupy in pair. So an atom tends to have as many unpaired electrons as possible as the same charge repel. The most stable arrangement of the electrons in orbital is the one with the greatest number of parallel spin. Example, we have nitrogen atom and we wanted to arrange the uh, electron in the orbital. So, nitrogen has 7 electrons. That means nitrogen has 1s orbital, 2s orbital, and 2p orbital. So, 7 electrons will be located in the orbitals. So, 1s is the lowest energy level. So, fill um, orbital 1s with electron first and followed by 2s. Okay, so we already have 4 electrons here, so the remaining 3 will be on the p orbital. So how do we arrange the electron? 
So based on Hans rule, it says here the electron occupied the orbital singly with parallel spin. So you will have to fill in the electron with parallel spin. Pointing upward, it, uh, arrow means that this is a uh, clockwise spin. Okay, so pointing upward on this in this orbital, and then another orbital, and then another orbital means that all three electrons are parallel spin. What about if you fill the electron in this kind of manner? Okay, this is not in parallel spin and it is already paired before the orbital is fully occupied. Means this arrangement did not follow Hans rule. Alright, so we will see the arrangement of electron in the energy level. So first two electron will go in 1s orbital followed by 2s orbital. And next we have another three remaining electron. So the three will go in the 2p orbital with parallel spin first. Alright, next principle is Pauli exclusion principle. So Pauli exclusion states that each orbital should contain a maximum of two electrons which must have opposite spins. No two electrons in an atom may have the same set of four quantum numbers. This is the set of four quantum numbers. So each electron must be unique whereby the set of four quantum numbers must differ. For example, we have helium here. So helium has two electrons. The configuration is 1s2. So how does that two electrons is arranged in an orbital? This is two electrons in parallel spin in the same orbital. This is wrong configuration. And this is two electrons also in parallel spin in one orbital. This is also wrong. Alright, this one is a paired electron with opposite spin in the same orbital, which, which follows Pauli's exclusion principle. Each orbital, this one, one orbital should contain a maximum of two electrons, right? It has maximum of two electrons here, but it has opposite spin. So this one follows the Pauli exclusion principle. Example, write the electron configuration for nitrogen and draw its orbital diagram. So nitrogen configuration is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. And its orbital diagram, you should draw the, di the orbital 1s with two electrons with opposite spin and 2s orbital with two electrons in opposite spin and 2p orbital with three orbital each has one electron with parallel spin this is Hans rule